Alright, so here's how you get set up with Comet D and Jetty running inside an existing JVM. Uh, you're going to want to download Comet D, Jetty, um, and SLF4J. So I downloaded Jetty, I just extracted it to E opt and put in Jetty 8, and then I got Comet D as well somewhere there it is extracted that to opt and SLF4J so those are three packages you'll need you want to make a new Eclipse project and then under your build path now I don't think you need all these jars but this is the simplest way to get started so you're going to need the jetty jars all the jetty jars come from wherever you unzipped it to slash lib so jetty slash lib you'll need the comet d jars these are in comet d slash comet d java slash bayux api slash target the comet d java comet d java target the comet d java common target comet d java server target and comet d websocket jetty target so you need those four Comet D jars, and they depend on a logger, so you'll need these two SLF4J jars on your class path. So once you have all those jars, you're also going to want to, you don't, this isn't necessary, but uh, to get base64 encoding, to convert your binary data to base64 strings, we're going to be using Sun's Base64 encoder, which is a forbidden API. So you'll have to change forbidden reference from error to just be a warning so you can uh, compile it in. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you the main class. So you're going to make a new server. This is a Org Eclipse Jetty server. Make a server context handler. This is another org eclipse jetty servlet servlet context. Set the path for the context to be the root, so it's the root of your web server. And then set a handler, which is the context. Next, you're going to make the comet D servlet. This is the guy that's going to do your publish your publish subscribe server. So you make a new org comet D server comet D servlet. You get your context you created earlier. You add the servlet inside a new servlet holder. And here's the mount point. So whenever you point your clients, they're going to expect to be listening for messages at http colon slash slash your host slash bayux. And then you start your server. So all this up here is all you have to do to get your Comet D server running. That's it. If you want to start publishing messages from your Java application, this is how you do that. You take your server that you created earlier and you get Bayx. This is going to give you Bayx server implementation. And then you can tell him to create a ser create a channel. Create if absent, create a channel if it doesn't already exist, and you give it a channel name. And then when the channel's finished being initialized, you get a call back so you can configure the channel. You're going to want to set that channel to be persistent so it doesn't get garbage collected on you. Next, you get the channel you just created by this, Bayx get channel, the channel name you used. In our case, it's slash data. And now you've got a channel. So you can use this channel to s publish messages to be received by your clients. Um, and now the rest below, all this stuff is just, I'm just generating random example data. So the first example, I'm generating an array of bytes. So using this, I'm going to show you how to do base64 encoding. So this is just a new byte array. You can get the Sun miscellaneous base64 encoder. This is an unsafe import, but it'll let you do it if you made that compile change I showed you earlier. You do base64encoder.encode and then your byte array 
and it'll give you a string back with all your data. We're going to send two different objects to our clients just to test. So this is the first one, first data. Everything you send is going to be in maps. So if you send a map like this, a hash map, key A, value B, on your JavaScript side, you're going to get an object that looks like this. So this is the JavaScript object you're going to get on the other side in your clients. Just an object who has the attribute named A and a value of B. If you put another thing in there, then on your JavaScript side, your object will look more like will look like this instead. All right. And here's our second data. This is where we're taking that base64 string we made and just putting it in a map which will be turned into a JavaScript object on the receiving end. And here we're just going to send these messages out every second just so we have something to look at on our client side. So to send a message you just do channel.publish null for the first argument, the map that you want to publish and this I haven't really figured out. I guess it's supposed to be a message ID. Doesn't really seem to matter, but I'm sure there's some documentation on it, and I'm sure it probably is important. Um, so that's it. That's your whole Comet D server. Here's the server. Any client can publish to a channel. The channel will get automatically created. Um, here is your server side channel that you're making. So your server side. Java code can send data to the JavaScript clients. And here's where we're just creating some messages to send to our clients. So now let me show you the JavaScript side, now that the Java side's all done. So here's the JavaScript side, a lot easier. I included Fay browser, which is a client implementation of the Comet D protocol. And then I just create a, new, create a script here, creates a new Fay client, localhost 8080, because we're listening on port 8080, somewhere around here. Here we go, server was constructed with port 8080, slash bayx, because we mounted our servlet at slash bayx, and then we do client subscribe slash data, because we made a channel called slash data and we're publishing on that channel slash data so our client needs to subscribe for slash data to get the messages sent out on slash data so let me show you how that works I'll go ahead and start up my Java application refresh this one and now we see we've got objects coming through we've got a with value of b something val and every second we're getting a new object and sometimes we get base64 data, sometimes we get the AB stuff. So that's all there is to it. You're all set up and ready to roll with your Comet D server in Java.